power belongs to you, the youths. You have every right to protest. On the 17th of October, the NSAS protesters stormed the gate of government house and made some demands in accordance with nationwide protests against police brutality and human rights violation. The NSAS protests made some demands. Four days later, Governor Doye Diri set up a judicial panel of inquiry to attend to the demands of the protesters. At the 10th meeting of the State Executive Council, Governor Doye Diri swears in a seven-man panel with retired Justice Ezekiel Ogola as chairman. Members are given a time frame of six months to carry out their findings and make recommendations to government. The answers protesters have been civil, they have been calm. The judicial panel of inquiry is expected to, one, receive cases of alleged brutality by the police and or any other security agency. Somebody will come to with a complaint. I will always make sure the other party is informed and invited to the panel to defend himself. Policeman refuses to obey, respect the subpoena from the panel. It's okay, it's the governor that uh, inaugurated this panel. And so the governor will hear, the police commissioner will hear. Thank God we even have an AIG here now. Governor Deary also inaugurates the Special Security and Human Rights Committee to supervise and monitor the newly formed tactical unit of the police, codenamed Special Weapons and Tactics Team. We are now open. As time goes on, we'll come back to you to provide a deputy secretary so that members of the public can have unlimited access to lodge their complaints. Recommendation of compensation and other remedial measures are also included in the terms of reference to the Judicial Panel of Inquiry. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagoa.